Hey, Crossroads Farm, it's Friday night, 10 o'clock time for nighttime prayers. I'm Joe, I'm here with my son, AJ, an alum of Crossroads Farm Northwest. He was in our first senior class last year. In fact, AJ was with Crossroads Farm before there was Crossroads Farm Northwest, uh, two years uh, praying with us to see this thing come to be. And he still is a part of it when he is home. And here he is home uh, from school and I asked him to join me to pray tonight, and so I'm very excited he could be here. But I want to share with you from Psalm 56. Listen to uh, the scriptures, David writing. Record my misery. List my tears on your scroll. Are they not in your record? Um, the message paraphrase says this. You've kept track of my every toss and turn through the sleepless nights. Each tear entered in your ledger, each ache written in your book. In the ESV, it says every teardrop has been stored in a bottle. And the point David is making <clears throat> is that God cares about our heartache. God cares about our tears and our sorrow, that there is no invisible tear. Like you haven't cried in your bed at night and somehow it escaped God. He knows. He's recorded all of those tears and that heartache and the suffering you've had for whatever reason over anything God has kept track and he knows because he is a compassionate and caring God. Some of you just found out this week that, uh, uh, in fact, yesterday, that Governor Whitmer has said, hey, we're shutting school down, barring a miracle in Crossroads Farm. We're praying for a miracle. But barring a miracle, school's cl closed. It's shut down. And, and it's your senior year or <clears throat> you play a spring sport and, and that's gone. Right. And, and you've grieved that uh, you're not going to get to graduate or at least not how you imagined it. And the graduation parties and the, all the festivities of the end of the year gone. And, and that hurts. Right. Some of you have found out someone, you know, has contracted coronavirus and that hurts. Or uh, maybe there's job loss in your family or someone close to you. And it hurts. You haven't seen your friends. It hurts. And God cares. And tonight, as we head to bed, it is good for us to remember that God sees every tear he hears, every broken heart, whether it's expressed or not, and he keeps it in a ledger because he cares deeply for you. He cares deeply for me. And as we go to bed tonight, we go to bed with the great comfort of knowing that God cares. So AJ is going to lead us in our nighttime prayers tonight. All right, let's pray. Lord, we are so thankful that we can bring those broken prayers to you, bring our broken hearts to you, that these prayers that are made in the privacy of the late of night, that we can bring those to you and you can provide us comfort in that. And we're so thankful that we serve a God that's available 24-7 and that in this time, in this season of life, that you're in the fire with us, that we are not alone in this. And we are so thankful that we can serve a God who cares about us even during this time. We pray all these things in your name. Amen. Amen. And we hope that God's care lets you go to bed at peace tonight. And even if, as you go to sleep, a little tear comes from your eye because of some loss that you know, God sees it. He's recording it and he loves you. And when you wake up tomorrow, you wake up in the knowledge that God cares. What a great thing. Good night, Crossroads Farm. We love you. We miss you. We hope to see you Sunday night on our live stream tomorrow night and the prayer. Stay connected.